What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan, Rybeats. How's everybody doing? Today we're gonna be doing another, I guess, test of some inks that I just got. So we're gonna do it right now. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about this highly talked about ink. It's the FN ink from Ryanet or ScreenPrinting.com. We got two inks here. We have the black, or they call it, yeah, the black and the white. But we're going to concentrate more on the white ink, which is this one right here. Let's read what it says here on, on the box. It's a FN white ink. The FN, it stands for financially necessary and then white, right? So it's low cure, it says non-thylate, plastol ink, FN ink is high quality, extreme low cure, non-thylate, ready to ready for use ink. Created as a balanced and was a vibrantly clean color with smooth and easy printability on both manual and automatic presses. FN ink is the ink of choice for saving printers money. Okay, it says curing time, ink will cure once the entire layer reaches 260 degrees. Test dryer settings and actual physical ink temp before a production run. For more detailed um, printing tips and cure parameters, visit screenprinting.com. On this side, it says clean up. Remove ink from the screen. If performing a color change, use S-Green Supreme Wash and follow the instructions. This disruptive ink was designed for screen printers by screen printers to be the most economical and high performing plastol ink. With prices of plastol ink skyrocketing, we created an ink for any printer. Take a stand against crazy prices. Okay, I like that it has a manufacturer date. So this one, well, on the label it even has the manufacturer date, which is which is great. So I kind of know what uh, what date. Uh, I purchased this or what date it was manufactured so anyways let's open it up and let's get to it again I have both the white and the black here but we're gonna focus on the white okay smooth and balanced and easy on the printability I did get a sample of these of the FN inks from the ISS show in Fort Worth I just couldn't bring it on the plane, so I had to leave it behind. Okay. There's the white, you guys can see. Let's uh let's stir it up. I always do the uh when I when I get new ink, I like to punch it in the middle and see how soft it is. Wow, that's that went through nicely. Okay. Alright, so this actually has the same consistency as the uh, the lava the low bleed from Wolflex yeah it's really creamy just give it a couple of stirs here wow and, and on any inks guys make sure you guys stir okay I'll stir it around you know 10 20 seconds all right so um, what we're gonna be using this, uh, this screen here which I burned I don't know, maybe a year ago, maybe almost two years now. I never really got to do it. Uh, this is actually part of my my uh, clothing brand. So let's let's go ahead and print it. I've always wanted to print this. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Here's the uh, the design. It says music, lifestyle, and brotherhood. This is actually my. Um, one of my DJ uh, brands are designed for um, uh, Fader Society. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test print on this black shirt right here. But we are gonna do our final print on this maroon. What is this? Uh, it's a Gildan. This is a dry blend right here, the dry blend. So I think this is an 8,000. All right guys, let's talk about this ink real quick. This FN ink. Um, Two things that that I already like about it: one, it's uh, it's low cure. Two, the uh, consistency of the actual plastisol ink 
it's the same as like i was saying it's the same as the wolflex low bleed that i have which i love using the that white ink as you guys know i am a fusion 180 uh, user so i like the fusion 180 ink i don't really like the fact that it's the white is very difficult to use like especially if you don't clean up right away let's say if you leave it overnight it's really hard it gets it gets pretty hard um, overnight and it's very difficult to um, to clean up so if this thing cures at 260 degrees and it's fairly very easy to use I think I'm gonna switch over that's my honest truth as of right now but yeah that's my two cents as far as the, the FN inks the Fusion 180, I have a whole set of Fusion 180 stuff there. The other colors are, are relatively easy to use, but the white is very tough. And supposedly this is their new formula from, I don't know, 10 months ago. This thing right here. That's supposed to be easy to use. It is easy to use once you get it going, but you got to get it. You got to consi consistently keep it going. So if this thing can can print the way I, I like it to print, I don't know. We'll see. But definitely we're going to be using a lot of the FN ink in the near future as far as the white goes. Uh, Look at this guys, it's it's really easy. Okay, so we're going to do our test print on this black. Um, let's see how it looks. Black. See that? I, I wouldn't be able to do that with the, um, with the, what do you call this, the Fusion 180. I have to like work it a couple of times before I get it to spread a little bit. But that's pretty easy. Alright, let's go ahead and print it. Went through easy. That's our first pass. Let's go ahead and flash it real quick. Okay, so this is the... I'll show you guys. Here's the first pass. All right guys, that's the first pass. Covered it pretty good. All right, let's do the second pass. We went through nicely. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. All right guys, so here's the screen. Uh, the ink passed through. Pretty nice. This is actually a, um, what is this? A 160. That's a 160. All right, so this is the second pass right here. All right, so this is how it looks. Right now, the conveyor dryer, I have it going to about 290, 290 degrees. And um, I think we're going 290 in about uh 20 seconds under the conveyor all right so now let's uh do our our final print on this maroon easy really easy okay this is our first pass Oh, this shirt has some polyester in it, so hopefully um, we can see if there's any kind of a uh, dye migration. We'll see. Let's do our second pass. That looks really good. All right guys, so here is the final print. This is a uh, print flash print. All right, so I haven't seen anything as far as the dye migration. It looks pretty bright and white. Looks good. Let's see if we can get anything as far as cracking. Just stretch here. Nope. Looks well, good to me. All right guys, so this is it. This is the final print. 
uh, my honest opinion is I like it. I like it a lot. We'll be, we'll be testing this out a little more, but um, do I like it? Yes. Will I recommend it? Definitely. And uh, will I be using it more? You know, I, I don't know. Probably. I mean, if you even look at other brands, the other brands are definitely going towards the low cure. For instance, we do have the CCI uh, low cure shadow black. All right, guys. So FN Inc. My final thought is I really like it. Um, it I like the fact that it's low cure. And uh, you guys know I'm a big avid fan and I use a lot of the Fusion 180 inks for specialty prints, especially with 100% um, polyester. So with this ink guys, it's easy to use. It goes through the, the screens very easily and it cleans up easily. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna be switching to this after the 180, but we're definitely gonna do a lot more tests than this as far as using it. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.